Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Airgun Farm and I'm here to show you um, quite an interesting um, spring piston airgun here. This is the Mauser K98 uh, made by Diana. Uh, Mossy Diana are the famous German airgun manufacturer. Um, but this is based on the K98 Mauser which was um, the standard issue rifle to the Germans in 1935. And, um, Obviously, it's uh, it's missing the bolt action, etc. But um, sort of the main front end and the whole rear um, very closely follow the original. Um, so, and it's uh, quite an interesting air gun from from that point of view. It's something different. So, if you're sort of a collector of military um, style hardware, um, this is certainly an interesting one to add to the collection because not only have you got something that's very um, it, it, it's a good nod to the uh, to the original, but also it's a very capable, um, good shooting air gun. Obviously, Diana are known for a very high quality uh, metal finish. They're well engineered and um, <clears throat> normally pretty accurate. And uh, this one's no exception on that score. So first of all, if we're looking at it, obviously you've got your full sort of um, over three quarter length um, hardwood stock. And then you've, um, as I say, in keeping with the original, they've added the wooden plates at the top. They would um, apparently be to do with the how hot the barrel's getting, etc. So you've got all that there, all built in. Um, at the rear, you've got the, again, this sort of back half here very closely follows the original when you look at the patterns. And the, you've actually got a hole that goes right the way through the stock, um, ready to take a um, hard, um, in a sort of heavy duty sling, which obviously would be standard issue as well. Um, got the, the butt here, that's just a metal finish there. That's the only thing for practical use here that can be slightly annoying with it's a bit slippery in the shoulder, but you can get, um, I personally, if I was going to use this, I'd get a little slip on rubber end there, and um, that would arrest that in, in its tracks. But um, as far as for the purposes of this model, that again is um, mirrors the original K98, um, and it's uh, it's it's a good solid performer. This is 9.5 pounds in weight, um, so it's it's a real hefty beast, um, but it's it's uh, it's well engineered, and you know you feel you've got a, a significant rifle in your hands. Uh, you've got open sights as standard, <coughs> and they're all metal by the way, and um, full finger wheel adjustable. Um, your, your foresight is a hooded post and um, obviously that's, that's static but you've got full adjustment here so you've got open sights to, um, to use uh, before you rush to, to put a scope on it and um, it'll be very satisfying to shoot with those alone. Um, other features, if we carry on down here, we've got a full wraparound. This is all metal um, and that's a, a, a sling swivel. A fixing point at the front. <coughs> uh, then moving to the back you've got a raised um, scope dovetail rail here and it's got a series of pre-drilled arrestor holes as well so you can stop um, any scope creep in its tracks if, uh, if that is going to be a problem. Uh, I mean shooting this it's um, I found the recoil fairly mild obviously largely to do with the, the weight, the sheer weight of it, a mass with spring guns helps to just kill recoil full stop um, but as far as I say so there is um, recoil but it's it's very mild because of the um, largest to do with the weight of it but there is a lot of um, on this one there's quite a little bit of spring twang I'll fire it in a second um, but again if you gave it to any anyone who, um, who's used to taking spring guns apart a bit of lube on the spring and a general clean up um, would probably transform the, the, the feel of it. Um, as it is at the minute, um, I've shot it at uh, 30 yards and had um, sort of average three quarter inch groups or um, five eighths of inch actually, so it's very close to three quarter inch. So very competent, and that's me not rushing to test for, um, you know, if you, if you if your own rifle, you do a lot more uh, lengthy tests to find the best pellet to suit the barrel. But um, a, a series of pellets that I've used on under review um, is around three quarter inch of 30, so it's pretty damn good. Another thing over um, on the chronograph, 
my figures show um, just under 11 foot pounds with Air Arms Diabolo and um, 10.2 foot pound with RWS Superdome. This is in 2 2. But the one thing that was quite astonishing was the consistency and the Air Arms Diabolo 3 feet per second over 10 shots and 4 feet per second over 10 shots with the Superdome. So um, there's one hell of a consistent power plant at work there. Uh, so it's pretty good. So let's, let's get a shot down it. So you're using the, the top sort of dummy front there is actually the under lever. Pop that all the way. <coughs> and uh, I'll just put a pellet in. And then very much like the Virox 77, you've got an exposed breech there. So you chamber your pellet into the breech. Um, and one point to note here is that in much the same way as um, on the Air Arms Pro Sport, they actually put a cutaway inside the port um, so that if you miss the barrel and it will just drop through. Well, they've done the same here, so it, it, you shouldn't have pellets stay inside the port and get caught up. They'll just drop through, which is nice to know. To close the breach, you've got a um, safety bar there for the um, anti-bear trap. Push that down and then that will allow the lever to return. Then you've got an automatic safety at the back which is all standard Diana. Um, push that forwards and you're ready to go. The trigger on these is um, a very nice unit, it's the T06 trigger unit. If you're familiar with Dianas, that's quite a high grade, very precise trigger unit. Obviously it's a spring gun, so you're never gonna get the incredible lightness you get with P very easily with PCPs. But for spring guns, um, it's a pretty damn good trigger. So I'll just fire off the shot. Yeah, it's a very precise trigger. There is a lot of twang um, and uh, sort of spring resonance on this, um, but as I say, it, the, the recoil that there is um, is quite mild. There's no harshness about it. It's just noisy, and again, we're indoors here. <coughs> so I'll just do one more. So you un pull the under lever down, reveal your breech, pellet in. Always push it flush, you're not gonna damage the pellet button down and that allows you to return that safety in and we'll just fire it off. So there we are, that's the Mauser K98 made by Diana and it's a very nice uh, rifle for sort of military fans.